So once we're done with the printing step, um, I, we should clean the screen. Um, the first step to clean the screen is to recapture uh, a lot of your uh, liquid uh, ink that you have left over. This ink specifically does not evaporate significantly, so I personally like to return the, the, uh, the remainder back into its, uh, its supply bottle but it's up to the operator how they operate. Um, some people don't necessarily like that and label the ink as used. Um, so to, to, to return, I just use another tongue depressor and I capture any excess runoff that we have. I do the same thing on the screen as well before uh, washing the screen. You like you would probably prefer to have uh, uh, gloves on to prevent uh, contact of the silver with your skin because it does stain your skin for some time. Uh, once you have captured as much as you can, um, the best way to wash the screen is to uh, place a paper towel on the screen and flood the screen with IPA. Um, if you leave the IPA on the screen for a few minutes, uh, it will dilute down the, the ink and it will make the washing step very much, much easier. Uh, during that time, you can clean the squeegee by just taking another paper towel, putting some IPA on it, and wiping the excess clean. You might wanna you might need to do this twice to capture all the soap. Um, this ink specifically doesn't like water as a solvent at the first stage so please don't put uh, water directly on the screen before you have cleaned a uh, majority of the uh, silver off. Uh, putting water will coagulate the ink and it will clog your uh, screen pores. So once you have waited a few minutes you can just simply come over you can massage this and pretty much remove Um, I use a waste bucket to capture any silver runoff because you can later sell the silver uh, for recapture. Uh, after you have done the IPA wash, uh, use soapy water to remove any remaining residue. And as a last step, you can use clean water to remove any soap. Once the screen is dry, the screen is ready for 